Hey guys, it's Rob. I'm again here. And, um, yeah, let's talk. Let's talk about FNAF, shall we? Uh, more specifically, uh, about FNAF Security Breach called Ruin. Um, I know that I kind of mentioned this before when I reacted to the uh, to the game to the FNAF game theory by Matt. Obviously, I thought that this was a trailer, but apparently no. Uh, this was only a poster. The DLC released in 2023, which is okay. Still a long way to go. Like, must be a pretty big DLC, right? I mean, it's Security Breach, you know. Um, so I think today I just want to give my own uh, theory about what I thought about this DLC, what, what I'm hoping for, you know, uh, because I did kind of give my own thoughts about how I feel about FNAF, you know, or like how some people feel about FNAF and I kind of like discuss that idea, you know, if FNAF made for kids, you know, but yeah, security bridge, and I make for kids, <laughs> it's not even scary, you know, um, but yeah, today I want to talk about the, the I guess the, the poster to see what I, what I think it is, because um, from what people been saying is that I think this we we're playing as this little girl, but we have no idea who this little girl is. Um, and apparently he she uh, apparently this took place after the the burn trap ending, you know, where the place is kind of like burned down, obviously, and then uh, kind of makes sense to me because it's called ruin, right? Um, like maybe it, it was after everything has been burned down, everything was like ruin. I mean, we you see. Uh, I think that's Freddy Fazbear's like uh, statue. I think that we saw in the basement. Um, it was collapsed. You know, I, I I don't know if it was collapsed in the in the main gameplay. It's been a while, honestly. Um, I think I think this is I think it might be this most likely after the the game's ending. You know? Um, but it could just be another adventure. So maybe there's gonna be some other uh you know, this 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 other kid that Gregory doesn't even know that from the pizzeria and then he was in the in the basement, like in the room, I have no idea. Um, but at the same time, you see the the martyrs in the in the poster. Obviously, you see Gregory's face, um, and he says, "Help me!" You know, um, this I think is kind of cool reference to Spring Trap. You know, where he's, he he kind of said, "Help me!" <laughs> you know, if you guys remember that. Um, so I think the camera kind of show uh, Gregory like like a lot, right? Camera, and I think it's just. Uh, I think it's confirming, well, well maybe not confirming, but like, I guess I got this idea that may maybe this is not exactly on the, maybe the game is not exactly to this after the ending, because we kind of see the the post, I mean the, the monitor is kind of like, uh, the girl's kind of like looking at the, like at Gregory, right, it seems like it, I mean it's just a poster I know, but what if we actually play as this girl, and then we actually see Gregory running around in the, yeah, you know, upstairs. Uh, like doing his mission, and like or like you know catching rocks or whatever you know, we kind of watch him or like maybe protect him. Maybe not protect him because I don't think that anything like that happens in the main. But who knows, you know? So that's why I think that's kind of. I mean, could be both, right? I mean, uh, people say it was after the main game, after the ending of the main game, but I think it might be before the main game. Actually, saw the martyr. Maybe the martyr is just like recording. <laughs> Or like what happens to Gregory, you know, someone's been recording him, right? Um, or maybe it's like, sorry guys, I mean, maybe it's like, um, you know, we're just watching Gregory and, and not really doing anything, you know? Um, uh, or something sinister might happen, I mean, he says help me on the screen, so obviously, I, I don't know if, if it was Gregory saying that or it was Blitzstrap, you know? Um, but yeah, I think... I'm obviously interested to see where this DLC goes. Obviously, where where does it take place? You know, and place, sorry, place, <laughs> and where uh, who is the the girl characters? You know, and it's kind of funny because I read I read this fanfiction a long time ago about Security Bridge, where you see Gregory kind of have uh, a girlfriend, like an another girl, you know, in the pizza. I kind of like at him, you know, like it's a it's a fanfiction that I found on Instagram, but <laughs> I just kind of I just kind of uh, found it funny that now you actually we we actually have. Uh, an actual girl character, you know, like a little girl character in the security bridge, <laughs> you know. Um, who is this girl? Who knows? For I me, mean, I think she she kind of has a yellow hair, but I don't think that really matters to be honest. Um, uh, it's just like, yeah, I'm really curious to see who is this character. You know, how does she she connects to the uh to the entire game? You know, um, I don't think that's Vanessa, right? <laughs> I think that's like a really stress, right? I mean, whatever. I. I'm hoping that in Ruin DLC, uh, I I kind of wish it's not just like the the girl's character that we that we see in the poster. Uh, hopefully we get to 
uh, obviously know more about the mystery of the 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 building, right? And then you know what happened down here. I mean, people have their theories. You know, Mapper has their theories. Um, I have my theories, I guess, even though I don't really <laughs> excited to making theories. You know, um. So hopefully we we found more in this DLC, you know, and hopefully there is some scary moments. But judging, I mean, it's a security breach game, so I don't think, I don't think it's gonna be as scary, you know. I know people say that, you know, but people are disappointed that some people are disappointed that FNAF is no longer scary. Which yeah, I agree. FNAF used to be scary. Um, now it's just like it really wasn't. And it's kind of funny situation with FNAF right right now. It's just like uh, obviously the DLC is gonna be free roaming like the the main game, right? And Here's the here's the thing, guys, <laughs> that I feel about the the security breach. It's like, or like the current FNAF stage right now. It's just like back in the day, back when FNAF One was released, like it was just like us in the sitting in an office and then looking around and then trying to, to defend ourselves, right? And then that's that's what makes FNAF famous, right? Um, like back in the day, I was like me and obviously the rest of the fandom, I guess, just going insane that that the oh my god, imagine the idea where FNAF is actually free roaming, you know, like you actually roam. The place and you have to actually have to hire whatever you know like that's insane and then you got this fan game that joy of creation just came out right and it was like wow <laughs> that is great you know and now we actually get uh to the official obviously security breach you know um the main game and then now the dlc ruin obviously adapt the 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 free roaming parts because i'm assuming ruin is probably just gonna take on the i don't know it's just, it's just gonna be taking place on the 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 down like the basement of the mall or it's gonna be the entire mall again, you know, like after everything ruined, who knows, right? Uh, but yeah, the point is that I feel like people now playing Security Breach, uh, now they just they just want to go back to the classic FNAF, <laughs> you know, like the even Jack Septica, you know, who who plays FNAF, like he he was, I mean, he, maybe he's just joking, but I don't think so. He basically said that, man, can we just go back to the FNAF one? <laughs> can we just go back to the early days of FNAF, you know, where we just like sit here and then looking around? Which is like it's a real situation. Which yeah, I mean, I when people say for like asking for like a free roaming FNAF game, I don't think this is what what people are expecting initially. At least back in the day, right? People are are expecting kind of like joy of joy of creation game where you actually have this really creepy house, you know, and then you have to avoid the animatronics and the animatronics like free roaming also like you, and then they're going to hunt you down. They're going to chase you down, and I think that's what people are expecting. Um. Which to be fair, uh, we might get some scary moments in uh, the Ruin DLC if they again if they actually listen to the peop what people think about Security Breach and hopefully they are making things are uh, linear, you know, because I think that's the main problem with the the, the main uh, Security Breach game that I feel like the game wasn't linear enough, you know. So it's like you can you create a bunch of plays but you never really do anything with it. You know? So hopefully in this DLC, I mean it's a DLC, right? So I think it's smaller. So hopefully uh, they can keep things linear, you know. They keep keep things uh engaging you know i don't think it's gonna be as scary because again it's security bridge it was meant to be like a, an adventures game than horror you know which is yeah kind of disappointing i guess because when you see fnaf you see horror right but i guess people just maybe you guys are disagreeing with me, which is fine you know i i, I accept everybody's opinion um i know the people like some adventures game as well which i mean i mean kids loving it <laughs> you know so there you go um but yeah, I guess that's my uh my thoughts about this DLC and then my thoughts about FNAF in overall, I guess. I know this is supposed to be a ruined DLC topic, but I kind of go over tangent there with another FNAF topic, you know, about like how we feel about FNAF or like how, not not, not exactly we, but like how me and then some people feel about FNAF, you know, um, which I think is pretty interesting to discuss again, even though I already made the video um before. And yeah, definitely interesting to see where this DLC goes. You know, I, I wonder how many DLC uh, Security Breach is going to have. You know, I mean, it definitely takes a long time to to make the DLC, you know, because it's still like a year away. Uh, and maybe it's going to be pretty big, you know, who knows? Um, it's not going to be as small, you know, because it just took a year to make. So I think it's going to be pretty big, to be fair. Um, I'm still hoping that we get to see a DLC about uh, Rockstar Bonnie because... I feel like I want to see, I want to see, sorry, I want them to make a Rockstar Bonnie DLC where we're focusing, or like where, where, where we're playing as Rockstar Bonnie, you know, make us play as the animatronic, you know, because in the FNAF game, you never actually play as the animatronic, never, you know, like in Security Breach, like you play as Gregory, and then you're playing as Freddy if, you know, when Gregory gets inside of Freddy and then he starts to control Freddy, like technically we're still playing as Gregory, even though we're in Freddy's eyes and in Freddy's body, you know, so hopefully in... 
they're going to make a Rockstar Bonnie DLC, which I'm really hoping they do. <laughs> maybe after Ruin, you know, maybe in 2024, who knows, right? Um, and then they we, we play as Rockstar Bonnie, first time as an animatronic, and then we, we explore the relationship between Bonnie and Freddy from Security Breach, you know, because they are like brothers, you know, it, it kind of implies in the main game, like, Freddy said, that, you know, I miss him, you know, or something like that, right? So, like, yeah, they have a brotherhood relationship, and I want to see that, and... More importantly, I want to see the animatronic actually talking and interacting with one another because the animatronic insecurity breach definitely has a has personality, you know. And I think Roxy and Freddy has the most personality, especially Roxy because he, he she is a narcissist, you know. Um, and I'm really I'm really hoping that we get to see the the animatronics interacting with one another, you know. I want to see that. Um, and not just Gregory and Freddy are, are like not just. This girl and with maybe maybe she gets an animatronic companion in down there. Who knows, right? Um, I don't think I don't think she's gonna get any animatronic companion. To be fair, um, I think I mean Freddy's with Gregory, right? I I don't think she she's gonna have another one unless there's gonna be some new animatronic they're going to introduce in the DLC and then that animatronic is gonna be the girl's companion in this DLC. Who knows? That will be exciting, but we'll see what happens. Um. Either way, yeah, that's my, again, that's my video, guys. Um, again, another tangent going on. <laughs> I was about to end it before, but I'm, here I am talking again for three minutes. But either way, uh, that's my thoughts, guys. Um, you guys can let me know your your opinions, you know, you, or like your theory about w what do you guys think about about the, about this DLC, you know? Like, do you guys think this is took place after the, the game's ending, you know, the main game's ending, or this is before, like, before the games, you know, maybe like a prequel or... It was taking, or, or it was like taking place the same time as the main game, you know, because I feel like everything could happen now. Maybe the most likely thing to happen is probably after the ending, you know, because I want to see what happens at the same time after the ending of the, the main game. But yeah, that's just me. So if you guys have any theory about what the, about the Ruin DLC, then please feel free to let me know about them if you want to, obviously. Um, I guess you guys, if you guys have any opinions about FNAF, you know, how do you guys think about FNAF right now? Do you guys think FNAF is still like, engaging you know as before well you guys can again leave your opinions in the comment section below because i am interested to hear what you guys think about fnaf you know like right now because some people say fnaf is not scary anymore fnaf are made for kids now so i want to hear your opinions about that if you if if you want to obviously um either way yeah that's that's the for the video guys um stay tuned for more videos in the future whatever it's gonna be and don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe share the videos ring the bell for notification and yeah, uh, I I hope I hope you guys enjoy this uh, this theory or thoughtful video. I guess hopefully, and uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one then. Bye.